And I got a few words for the moms of the young barbs. Guess who supports a child molester? Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I had to do it for her real quick. <laughs> hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? Today, of course, you know, um, word has just got out that Nicki Minaj will be take, taking the stand to um, defend her brother in the child rape case. Now, I do have to side-eye a lot of these blogs because a lot of them, like, it, this shit's been going on for two years, you know. A lot of people don't know because they haven't been they haven't been reporting on stuff, you know. And I do feel like she's been paying blogs to keep it hush-hush because, you know, as much as her fans tried to deny it, she is the one who um who um sold the houses, whatever the situation was with that. She is the one who sold the house, put the houses up. You know, her name is on these bills and stuff. She is the one who every time something happens or every time, you know, it is like every day that a court is um court date is coming up, some type of drama ensues that she makes or she drops a new song, you know. So it, it's not, it's just not a coincidence anymore. You know, at some, at some point you have to, you know, grow the fuck up and look at it for what it is, you know. And, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, shade her or, you know, nobody's punishing her for standing beside him. You know, the same way I said with the Keisha Knight Pulliam situation, it's how you stand beside him, though, you know. If you're paying blogs to not talk about the situation, then yeah, I have to side eye you. If you're, you know, doing little shady shit and stuff, then yeah, people are gonna side eye the fuck out of you. If every time he got a case, you all of a sudden, you know, you pick taking a picture with a ring on. I think one year she did that, the year that she was with me, I guess 2015 or whatever. You know, or you're um, you know, just doing little antics here and there, then people know that. People catch on. You know, I don't know why she thinks she got the public fooled. But nonetheless, you know, people are watching Nikki, and you know, um, that is uh, definitely you know one problem I see with this situation. Nonetheless, you know, my take on the situation. Oh, and before we get into my take, the defense's plan is to say, or they're going to say, and Nikki's never said this for the record; she's never came out and said this. But the defense's plan is to use Nikki and say. The wife and the child are, could, well, the wife is tricking the child into doing this against her will or whatever to extort $25 million out of Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Now, based on the evidence given to us, and if that is truly their ploy, because, you know, you can't always trust sources say, you can't always trust it. But if that is their plan, that is the dumbest fucking plan they could have ever came up with. But I'm just going to keep it real. Everybody know homegirl don't got money the way she be talking about she got money. You know, even if she ain't got a 360 to like Remy Ma said, you are still a signed artist. She is a signed artist, y'all. And if I'm going to keep it real, I think my thesis was correct. Not my thesis, but my hypothesis. I think that No Frauds video drained her account. I think it drained the fuck out of her account. After that, she then got put out of her, um, and you couldn't see this because then again, there, there again, I feel like a label or whoever is paying the, pe these people to keep quiet. The only person that was reported on this situation was the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. She got evicted from her mansion and now she, um, in, I think it was Miami. Now she's living with Birdman. You know, I finally got around to it, even though I didn't want to watch the shit. The fucking rake it up video because my friend was like tyson other than the lamborghinis it looks like very low budget and i was like it's a Nicki minaj video like i mean i don't think so i checked it out for my better judgment against my better judgment and she was in a fucking kiddie pool that you can buy at walmart or dollar general better yet and you know what they should have been picking that money off the flow and putting that towards a better video that that, that we're not even gonna get into that video but nonetheless, like, as I said in the beginning, I feel like no frauds just kind of drain the fuck out of their accounts, you know. And it would make sense because, you know, she posted one day on Twitter, you know, I can't, uh, she so posted something about going away for a little while. And within another week, she had tweeted. So I don't, I don't know what's going on on that situation. I don't really care. But I do feel like, you know, for them to try to use that as a ploy, 25 million. Come on now. Homegirl ain't really got it like she be saying. Come on now. Come on now. At any rate, <laughs> you know, when it comes to this situation, you know, as a person who has been sexually abused before, I, I, I'm just disgusted by the antics that and the links that they will go through to try to discredit this girl, you know, in the beginning. And this is why I think of it as this is some bullshit. In the beginning, 
it was okay he didn't do it okay then it went from he didn't do it to the semen was found on her pants okay um i've heard of planting evidence that is a stretch though right there but nonetheless now it's okay let's bring up her sexual uh past with other people as if that justifies you raping her so i just find it to be a whole bunch of bullshit you know she's he's about as opportunist uh, as opportunistic as his sister that's all i see it as it's nothing more than that um and it it, it does disgust me you know me personally you know my case was um uh, it was, you know, because there was no evidence in the beginning to start with. My case was, you know, just it didn't go anywhere, you know. And with this case, there was evidence. I feel like, you know, for just because he's Nicki Minaj's brother, that should not give him no fucking pass. Because keep it real, if this was any other black man on the street, they would have thrown his, they throwing black men in jail like fucking Waffle Houses, popping out waffles left and right. So, I mean, keep it real. This is only taking two years to drag out because it's Nicki Minaj's black brother. But if it was anybody else, I just, I don't, I don't like that. I don't fucking like that, you know, but I mean, it's politics. That's, it is, that's all it is, you know, in this situation. I think he did do it. I, I'm, I, I feel bad for the girl and what she's had to go through. And I feel bad for all the children at his daycare, whether or not he did anything to them. The fact that they had to be around a monster like that, you know, I just, I'm, this whole situation just makes my stomach turn. But, you know, that's all I have to say on the topic, you know, and we shall see what happens on that court date. And, um, shout out to YouTubers like Midnight and I, you know, and myself. And, you know, I've seen a couple other people. I can't remember y'all's names right now at the moment, but shout out to y'all who do report on this because, you know, where you can't find the good, important news that on, on the TV or whatever, you know, I feel like most YouTubers, you know, they sat, they, they make up for it. So, you know, excuse me. So, you know, shout out to us. And, um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Does anyone smell the irony? Uh -huh, I just say it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Motherfuckers, why you see the taboo motherfuckers? You can get it too, motherfucker. No over this bitch, the kid popping so the things. Yeah, I go by young hope, I take over this bitch. Y'all some actors and poses, play your roles and get hit. I will be rap, so I'm fine. Hey, yo, tell him shout out to my coasters. Yes, I'm quite boastful. Y'all fucking with the kids, shit, I call y'all boastful. All I ask your boy, yes, I'm in my seat. Ain't Zendaya's news, but I stays on replay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, ah, fuck you, hey, Jessica, they're a dime, hella fine, off and lick, Shut down, Work each nut nicely, treat the dick like your prize piece, excuse me, ma'am, what's your name, I'm imagining Danny. Danny. It's to be disrespectful. Let me shove it in. No shove. Like red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Wait, wait, red wait, flag. wait.